Hey guys, I promised you a video for editing interiors, so here it is. I hope you're gonna like it, enjoy it, and subscribe and like this video, okay? Let's dive in. So I have 266 images here, imported. I'm gonna go to the develop module right here, or you can hit also D on your keyboard. Now, before I start editing on this shoot, I've been shooting with 24 millimeters. So I guess this was the first uh, photo shoot that I shoot with a 24 millimeter and it was hard. I mean, shooting with a 24 millimeter interiors, you can already see how it looks. So um, yeah, you have to find the sweet spot. Uh, and when I mean the sweet spot, it means you have to lower your camera or higher so you can get straight angles as straight as you can in the camera all right so what i'm gonna do now i will uh, do a very fast selection all right so you can see how it's how is the entire process going and then i'm gonna start editing um, and i will show you actually yeah what, what i'm gonna choose and why do i choose uh, some images okay so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit L on my keyboard to darken a little bit the screen, all right? And I'm going to use my arrow, right arrow on my keyboard and the uh, P letter. So you know I'm, yeah, you know I'm already editing in Lightroom. So uh, yeah, let's go. All right. I'm not gonna pick this one. Let me see what I have the next. This is a better version, so I'm gonna pick it up. Going to the next. This is a nice shot. Okay, see see here, guys? I've been shooting bracket, kind of a bracketing, but the thing is, um, I think I shot a lot on um, a handheld because I need to move it so fast, you know? So as you can see, I has I have the first shot. This is kind of a blowout. I have a lot of blowout highlights, so I'm gonna choose the second one, which is also straighter. Pick it. Going to the next. Okay, as you can see here, I have different perspective. This will be very hard to straighten up the line, so I'm gonna leave it. And you have to notice that this room here. It was kind of a small room, that's why I use the 24 millimeter. I normally would choose a 35 for a 50, but because the the room was super tiny, I had to use the 24. Um, so I'm not gonna choose this one. I might choose this one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna choose this one. Uh, I have to straighten a little bit the lines. I will see how I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to choose this one also. Let me see. My, I think my screen is going black, so I'm going to leave it so. All right. I'm going to choose this one. This is nice. That's also nice. Of course, you can, um, you know, you can also... I mean, you can select even less than what I select now. Choose this one. Nice sheets. Pillows. This is nice. So I have two right here. I have to look for also for the focus. Where is the focus better? And from what I see, this is a better version. So I'm going to choose this one. This is not in focus, as you can see the focus is just nowhere. This has been shot with a 50 millimeter at a 2.5, you can see here. So sometimes if you're going too close with a 50, it will not focus because it has a focus distance, I guess, around 50 uh, centimeters or something like that. All right, let's see. I have two shots right here. I'm gonna choose this one, although, um, yeah, I don't see the details uh, of the perfumes so so well, but the the most important here is the try, this marble try. So I'm gonna pick it up, and I will see how I can deal with it. Uh, this is also actually nice. Let's see if I can straighten up this one. Going to the next one, 
I have another one of these. We're going to pick this one also. This one also. Okay, I have here with some chairs. As you can see, this room, like it was right in the upper part of the house. Uh, that's why it was kind of a yeah small room. So I have no space to back out with a 20 uh, with a 35 so that's why I use the 24 I'm gonna pick it up uh, here I have some nice details of the bed you know so I'm gonna choose this one it's very important that you see also textures and stuff okay now this shot it's it's nice but unfortunately it has no interest point and the highlights are blown out, so I'm not going to pick it out. Okay, let's see. This one, it's a, I like it. Going to the next one. I already have one of these. So, uh, okay, I'm going to pass this one. This one, I'm going to choose it. Also this one. Okay, we're going now to the bathroom. So again, here I shoot it also, I guess, with the 24, as you can see here, it's a 24 millimeter right here, at a 2.8, 180 of a second of the ISO uh, 400. And uh, yeah, it looks a little bit blown out, but let's see what we have here. Because when you have tiny windows, you will always, I mean, unless you're gonna do bracketing let's see if i have bracketing but yeah i have i have some bracketing so i will keep i think those two images where i can merge them and i will see what's what's the best so i'm gonna choose all those three and i will deal with them later this one it's also a nice one it's a vertical so i will see how it will look on an editing part this also cool looks the marble and the bat tab so this one, it's extremely important that you get um, more angles. I mean, explore the all the angles that you, you can actually take, you know, and don't be afraid to, to make mistakes. Okay, next, important details that you have to take, you know, it's so you can show the... the the vibe of the interior. Now, this one, you can see how how bad is the composition because, you know, with the 24, it's, I mean, it's super hard to, to get it right, especially when you have not enough space so you can shoot, uh, yeah, I don't know, you, you know, with the 35 or with the 50 millimeters. So I'm gonna pause out this one. I'm gonna keep this one. Going to the next, I'm gonna keep this one. This is nice also. All right. Details again. That is not nice. I'm gonna choose this one. This one, let's see the other one also. Although on this one, the focus is super shallow. I've been shooting at 2.8 as you can see here. But uh, yeah, I think this, yeah, it was handheld, so going to the next one, we have some, the lamps, I'm going to choose this one, also, let's see, yeah, also this, this is also okay, sometimes cleaner, it's better, less is more, also details of the cabinets, it's important, I picked also this one, so you do so you know. So I'm um, right now in the kitchen area, as you can see, I'm going to choose which the best here. I'm going to keep oh, those two. Let's see if I have something better. This one also. This one. That's one. That one. All right. This one, yes, I'm gonna skip that one, this one, this one. Let's see, we have here three, 
I'm gonna keep this one. Let's see if I can straighten up to make it better. And of course, I'm gonna keep this one. You can you can see already when I'm picking up. It says on the screen pick picked. All right, this one, that one, this one. Oh, this one also is nice. Of course, details are always nice. That one also. Um, let's see. Maybe I'm going to... When you don't want to pick it, you just push U from unpick. So I'm going to unpick this and I will choose, I think, only this one. Sorry, pick it up. So I picked that one. Next. All right, next. Yeah, this is from the front, but... Uh, because I have that reflection on the screen, I'm gonna pass this one. You know, sometimes you don't have to show everything. You know, you just have to show uh, yeah, what's most important. And uh, on most of my interiors, what I'm focused on it's the furniture, the furniture, the details, um, you know, the uh, the styling, uh, not the TVs and uh, you know the frames on uh, on the walls. This here, I tried the uh, composition, but I think it's too too busy, so I'm gonna skip it up. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, yeah, that's okay. Let's move on. Okay, so now I think I shoot here with the 50 millimeter, as you can see. So I have a more kind of a compressed look. That one, okay, this this one, I feel like the the focus is not, I mean, I'm gonna keep this one. This one, not, it's too tilted, that one, yes. Let's keep going. This one, yes. I already have some of this. Uh, yeah, sometimes I'm keep going back and forth, you know, to, to, to grab more of the same composition, just a little bit different angles, higher, lower, a little bit to the side. All right, so this one I'm not gonna keep because there is no fire in the wood burner, so I'm gonna skip it. Next, okay, we see the chairs. I see we have another one here. Okay, this is a higher point, so I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, here are some details. I'm gonna keep them. Move on. All right. Uh, okay, so here's an example where you're gonna need some kind of uh, reflection, anti reflection filter, which I don't have it right now. I'm uh, thinking to, to buy some filters for uh, reflections because. I have sometimes big problems with this, so yeah, you have to pay attention also to do to to this uh, part. So I'm gonna choose it for now. Now you you can see already here on this shot here, you can see me here, <laughs> right in the reflection. So I'm not gonna choose this one. I'm gonna pass it next. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. Now this is a different composition. Okay, so I have two of these, so I'm gonna unpick this one because it's a kind of a higher point, so I'm gonna choose the a little bit lower one, the lower one. This is a vertical one included with the frame, so uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass this one also. Now I'm gonna keep this one. That's because I have less reflections. Oops. I forgot to pick it up. Okay, pick it up. Next. Okay, we already have a lot of this, so I'm gonna pass that one. I'm gonna choose this one. Going to the next one. Let's go. I'm gonna choose this one. I see if I can straighten up a little bit. I'm gonna choose this one. This one also details. I'm gonna skip that. This is uh, interesting. Let's see. I will choose this one. Uh, okay, let's see. This one, yes, for details. 
that one. All right, this one. Okay, not. I'm gonna unpick the one. I'm gonna choose this one. Now, normally, uh, I think it will be better to actually, like, when you select to see it on the grid right here, uh, and and make the thumbnails bigger. But you know, I like to see the details a bit bigger so I can see if there is also the focus because sometimes when I select in the grid mode, I missed a lot of shots and I, I, I mean I picked the wrong one because they are sometimes they are not in focus so I better choose them right as I see and I go back and forth with the uh, arrows just to see which is in focus and then I will pick that one so I'm gonna pick this one let's see this one no I'm gonna skip it no okay so yeah you, you have to take details of everything I mean you need you know the drapes the the curtains, you know, of the windows. So you gotta get that one. Uh, this is also uh, interesting details if you want to uh, to tell the story of the house, you know, with these uh, wooden accents. Okay, got a one. Already have a lot of. So you see, I'm going back and forth. So after I finish the kitchen, I go to do uh, another area of the house and then when I finish there I keep going back to see if I got everything and make sure that I got more angles so yeah always make sure you got uh, a lot of shots and then you can just uh, get rid of those that you don't want it's better to have more than, than not have and then you can select the best this one, okay, some details, okay, okay, that's one also, that's a little bit different perspective, so I'm going to choose that one also, okay, I already have those, so I'm going to choose also this, that, because I shoot this with the 50 millimeters, so you can see it's a bit more compressed than the 24 millimeters, so let's go. Next, I'm now in the living room, so here... I also shoot with, with the 24, I choose that one, this one also, okay, let's see, okay, as you can see already here with the 24, if I go further and this one, this one, so uh, I'm gonna choose, gonna choose, oops, this one. I'll pick this one. That because I can I think I can handle up better the straightened areas. And next now, next, next, let's go. I have some verticals also. So make sure when you shoot interiors you got horizontals, yes, and verticals, okay? Because if you put them in the magazines, you need to have verticals, a lot of verticals, because when you put them on the verticals, they can use the full spread on a magazine. So I'm going to choose that one also. Oh, that's a funny, <laughs> that's a funny one. Um, that was, this is the styling guy. Um, <laughs> very funny sometimes. So I'm not going to choose this, of course, but it's, it's funny. Uh, all right, next one. I'm gonna choose that one. Let's see this, this one, this one, that one also. That one, this one. Okay, um, I'm gonna unpick this one. Oops, unpick that one. Pick this one. Pick that one also. Sometimes I know it's confusing. They kind of look the same, but they're not the same. So it doesn't matter. Just pick them up. You know, pick it and then you'll find out if you want to use them in the in the magazine or not, you know. All right, this one, that one, <laughs> that's also funny. Okay, we're going to skip this one. Oh, actually, that's kind of a, for the styling team. So we're going to keep that one. All right, that was one or so. Let's see. All right. This one, maybe. 
and we have this one I'm gonna keep it let's move on okay I think this one also all right this this one yes so sometimes I do also shots like this just for the purpose of showing how they do the styling uh, and they, they they could tell the story in a, in a magazine you know next all right this one the focus is super shallow but it's fine this one of course that one so i already have if you look in the back i have few more of this but i think those are better that because i shoot this with the 50 millimeters as you can see so always it's better when you shoot with longer lenses all right uh, skip that one this one yes this one yeah let's go this one this one this one yes no yes okay so here i try to somehow integrate also the dining area with with the living room but as you can see there's also a baby crib right here which is i mean it's not the nicest but uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna pick it just for the purpose of let the editor to pick if they want it or not uh, this one also okay here's a problem so make sure when you shoot interiors always close the um, artificial light like you know you see here these artificial lights but sometimes you need them on because you need to see how they look the problem is when it's super dark you're gonna have a lot of color cast on your walls and so so yeah it's kind of a pity but especially when you shoot uh, like super low um, shutter speeds so i'm gonna pick that one and i'm gonna keep going this one yes that one that one okay let's see what did i did here all right uh i'm gonna unpick this one i'm gonna pick this one this one this knot you see here is super distorted so there is no way i can i mean i don't want to deal with it it will take too much time to straighten up okay so i have some fire details here um i can use this although i there's some reflection of me right here but uh yeah i'm gonna fix that one so i'm gonna pick that one okay so here's a kind of a better view wait a second is this focus or not what it's not in focus so i'm gonna skip this one yeah okay next yes 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 keep going so as you can see here i shoot it also from the balcony there uh, was an open area at the balcony so i thought there would be also cool to shoot uh, from uh, above although yeah it's very tricky sometimes with the angles as you can see but uh, i mean there is a different angle so it's always good when you have different angles so i'm going to choose that one this one uh now that one let's see if it will work i have this already okay i'll pick that one also okay i have already a, a lot of this okay let's keep that one also have that one okay so always get also close up at uh you know the fabrics of of the furniture it's very important um some other details vases also this one as you can see on the next one the stylist managed to put this goat uh, dead animal on the wall so i got some details it's kind of freaky next one here's some other details on the table 
There's a cost right here. Okay, so there's a kind of a problem right here. Sometimes, you know, all these items, they have tags. When they come, they come directly from the shop uh, and the stylist do the styling. But sometimes he just misses to take the tags out. So you can see already here the prices and the tag it's on. So that could be removed actually in Photoshop. But uh, I have to see if I have another shot, but gonna, I'm gonna keep it for now. But that could be removed. Here's a, again, you can see it in the background. Okay, if the background it's a bit blurred, it doesn't matter, but of course you can remove that. So I'm gonna pick that one or so. I'm gonna unpick that one and pick this one. Okay, that's also a problem right here. We 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 miss it. They put some cloud here and they forget it on the chair and it looks awkward. So yeah, it is what it is. So I'm gonna keep this one because it show less and I unpick that one and keep going. Okay, so here are some details for the lamps, hanging lamp on the table. Um, here are some details with the candles. Or also, this is a busy shot because you can see here the, the burning. I mean, yeah. It is what it is. So keep going. Uh, I'm going to keep it for now or not because I have I think other shots so I'm gonna unpick it I have some chair there oh here is a better shot of the, that uh, detail that I wanted to keep but okay here we have side from the whole cast uh, I'm gonna keep also this well no I'm not gonna keep this one because you know here you see the cloth right there so i'm gonna skip it okay so here it's another version of uh the dining type table that you can actually do is just to crop half of it and leave the half of it just like the the uh, like it's a mis mystery you know so the people let them think if maybe that table it's a bit longer so that's a very good uh, way to do a, a vertical uh, crop so I'm gonna pick that one. Let's move on. Uh, okay, I have this detail already, but I'm gonna pick that one also. All right, so you can, as you can see here, this house has also kind of a metal stair right here, industrial with uh, kind of modern and also, yeah, old style, Dutch style design. So I'm gonna keep that one. Here's another version. Oh, let me see. Okay, so I'm not gonna keep this one, although because you see my reflection right there in the window. So yeah, I'm gonna unpick that one. Um, I'm gonna keep this one just for see if they gonna want it for the stairs. But let's see. Okay, keep that one. Keep that one. Okay, here's another version. Use foreground. Uh, things, I mean, put things in front of your lens just to create different composition, to create uh, more layers, you know, because it's already just sometimes just too boring to be straight. So sometimes I use plants or different uh, items in front, glasses or different items in front of my lens and shooting at, uh, as you can see here, I shoot at 1.6 on a 24. I'll see if I can straighten up this one. Keep going. Uh, okay, this is a super stretch one, but yeah. I'm gonna keep it, keep going. I'm not gonna keep that one. Move on. This one, yes. Okay, I have, uh, okay. Here is the details where as you can see, you know, it's better to shoot when you have candles, find a darker background to place your candles so you can see actually the flame, you know, the flame of the uh, the candle. Otherwise, if it's on a 
brighter background, you will not see it. So sometimes I use this trick just to have the candles on the, uh, you know, to, to have some contrast there and uh, to see the flames. That one, here's some, also some details. That one, I'm going to pick this one. That's a much cleaner shot. I'm going to pick that one with the horsey. Of course, this one, that one, details. I love details. Details. All right, here we have another shot. I'm not going to choose this one. You already can see sometimes, oops, uh, the style styling guy is just passing through my frame. So I'm not going to choose that one. Uh, this one, uh, no. Let's go, keep going. That one, no. You see, I shoot with 24 and it still looks awkward. And uh, it's. I think it's too high of an angle and I, it's not good. It's not good. So keep going. Next, I have this one with a fireplace. So I got this one. All right, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, now we have fire inside the, the, this. Uh, so I have to light the fire. Okay, I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to choose this one. Oh, not this one. Oh, um, yeah, not this one because you see the plant uh, behind the fire chimney. You know, uh, doesn't look too good. So I'm going to keep going. I have this one. Keep going. I have some details here with the fire. So I'm going to choose this one. And we are done with selecting, guys. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going back to the develop mojo. And I'm going to filter out and choose the flagged ones. Once I have the flagged one, I go to the grid and let's see from two 266 I end up with the 183 images and from here I can also get rid of other images as soon as I start editing once I'm done with the selection I'm gonna select all command A on my Mac or control A on your Windows and I'm gonna right click right here and I will go into the develop settings and I will do an auto settings. The reason I do this is because I want to make my editing easy, you know? If you start to do to everything, every single images to select the exposure and so on, what this setting will do it will adjust actually uh, almost the correct exposures it will tone it down it will do the highlights it will do the shadows it will do the blacks you know and uh, it will put some vibrance or some saturation so once i do that i am ready to rock next i'm gonna also select auto on the white balance you know why because I want to make sure that there is the closest um, to the true color. You know, now with the auto white balance, it will be, an, let's say, 90% of the time correct. But if it's not, I can also correct it myself. All right, so let's see how the colors will look. Okay, as you can see here, Sometimes you see the color is shifting. So if it does that, what I'm going to do, I will take a reference and I will match that color for this, the whole scene. I mean, for the whole room. So I know that it will be um, how I want it. So as you can see on the first shot, I think this is kind of the true representation of the white balance. Right now you see here the temperature, it's uh, 5,150 the tint right there. So what I'm gonna do, I will, I will copy the settings right here. I will uh, check none and I will take only the white balance and then I will select the whole scene of this room 
right? The whole images of the uh, sleeping room or the bedroom, and then I will sync them all together. That means with the Y balance. All right, so now as, as I synced it, you can see already that the, the colors are more, more consistent, all right? They're more consistent with the, with, the other, with the other shots. All right, okay, once I did this, so I'm taking for portion, I, I'm editing now on portions so I can, you know, make it really clear. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to to the lens correction right here. Always make sure when you shoot with wider lens or with any lenses, uh, you make sure you have here on the lens correction, you got this checked, the remove chromatic aberration and the neighbor profile correction. This will straighten up a little bit more the distortion of your lens. So that's one thing and then you go to the transform right here and you're gonna start straighten up as much as you can straighten so right here i have a lot of options i have auto i have guide uh, guided i have level i have vertical and full what i do for most of the part i hit the auto and see if this will do the trick so Let's see, before and after. So it could be better, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I will use here the perspective for the lines. So I'm gonna try to match it as much as you can for the verticals. You know, the first thing you, you have to pay attention is the verticals, all right? Okay, so as you can see, I have the verticals pretty good. So I'm gonna, hit this box right here to constrain crop so it's straighten up it's not perfectly straight but from here i'm gonna take this in photoshop later if i want to straighten even more you know remember here in in lightroom i do uh the you know the 90 percent of the work and if i want more i can do it in photoshop but i don't do it most of the time because I like to be very organically and keep going. Uh, and the most, uh, you know, details, editing, uh, there's special editors that do that. Uh, I'm not doing that. So I'm doing only the Lightroom most of the time. I do the best on the Lightroom, Lightroom part and then the editor will do the rest if they want more details and straighten and, you know, cloning and stuff like that. As you can see here, on this image, let's see if I can straighten up a little bit. Okay, that's that's the most I can do. Um, they can straighten more these lines and stuff. I mean, let's see if I can use those lines, manual lines. Sometimes I take the guided lines and I take also this one here. All right, and I can take also this one. Now, as you can see now, this was a detail shot with the 24 millimeter so guys don't take details with the 24 you, you can see already the distortion right here so now let's see if i hit the crop it, if it is all right oh okay so and this time this time worked you know let's go to the next one let's see this one if it will work all right it works although you can see right here the table is kind of like super long so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the aspect ratio you know to tone this a little bit down so to make it more kind of real you know because it was too stretched so i'm gonna keep it like this and we keep going okay yeah, i have this one also so let's see if it's if it works if I have to stretch it up, all right, yeah. But there are some details right here, so yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep it for now. Next, I'm gonna keep this one. This is already pretty straight. That because this one is shot with a 50 millimeter. 
You see, when I shoot with a 50 millimeter, the, the lines are much straighter. So if you can shoot with the 50 millimeter details and also a wider cropped composition, always take that one. Okay, details here, keep going. They're nice, nice, straighten up. So what I'm actually doing now, it's more of a straightening, uh, straighten up the images, the shots, and then I'm gonna keep editing more in depth if I need to. Okay, as you can see here, right here, on these details, see, it's it's just not working. So what? All right. So I'm gonna skip that one. I'm gonna um unpick it and I will keep this one because it's much straighter all right so it's nice let's go all right this one let's see if I can straighten up this one okay this now I think the exposure it's a bit hotter so I'm gonna tone it down all right and uh, yeah let's see if I can tilt a little bit Sometimes you have to do also horizontals, so you can straighten up a little bit more. And maybe also the vertical. Oops, the other way. Okay. Now, it's, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. So, I mean, in my... <laughs> For my case, I mean, I don't want to be perfect because I like it more, you know, more organic kind of editing and look. Uh, sometimes you need to also make sure that it, uh, the frame is straight. Now I see it's, this was not straight. So sometimes I use the crop tool. All right, next. Okay, this one, let's see if I can straighten up. If not, I will keep moving. Okay, this will be very hard if I want to crop, unless I want to keep it like this. So it's not it's not bad. I might keep it. Here you have this spot that can be easily removed with the healing tool here. Gone. Going to the next. Because it was a distraction, you know. If I see it's a distraction, then I just clean it. And if it's easy, you know, if it doesn't take too much time to do it, I do it right away. Here's another shot right here. Another crop. I like the, those crops a lot to do because it just shows you enough, but not too much. It's just enough to just make you wonder what's beyond this. You know, this one. Okay, gonna keep this one. It's a detail for the chairs. Okay, this one, of course. Okay, you can see here, guys, that the, the color, it's kind of shifted right here. So I'm gonna play a little bit with the colors right here to see if I can actually do something. I have to go to the bluer side and maybe lower. I'm gonna lower the exposure. Now, compared to this one, that's a kind of a, let's see, it's a yellow. No, it's blow, bluer, more to the bluer. Yeah, some somewhere there. Oh, no, yeah, well, now it's too blue. Okay, there. I'm going to tone it even down a little bit more and make sure, again, it's straight right here. All right, what's next? This one, straighten up. Okay, this one will, will not work. As you can see, I mean, it will work, could work if you do the cropping like this. So you don't have, sometimes it will not, you know, the, the upper right here, it will not work. So you have to do it kind of a manual, manually. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna crop it just to lose that black thing right here, which is kind of distracting. And then cut right there. 
And of course, you can straighten up more the lines if you want in uh, this vertical line in, in Photoshop uh, afterwards. Now, this is another perspective, so let's see if this will straighten up. Okay, this is straighten up because it's with the 50, so it's better details. Okay, now I am into the bathroom. So what I'm going to do right now, again, um, I'm going to select all of this, all the bathroom, yeah, make sure I choose auto white balance again. All right, so it warm up the entire bathroom. You see, it w before it was kind of a cold looking, now it looks much warmer. So don't be afraid to warm up a little bit. You know, I prefer now to warm up a little bit uh, the temperature than to keep it too cold, you know? So let's see what we have here. Okay, that one, this one, it's uh, handheld, I guess. Yeah, shoot it on a 24 millimeter uh, handheld at 180 of a second. So what I'm gonna do, I will hit auto tone to see if this will correct a little bit more. So I have a little bit more. And I will go to the auto wire right here, straighten up. And now I have a lot of blown highlights as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to with this at the 90%. Oops, 90%. Okay, and then I will also gonna lower the whites. See if this will help. All right, it's still blown, but hey, let's keep moving to see if I'm gonna lower the exposure a little bit more. We keep it for now like that. I will come back to that if I need to to change anything. Okay, so here I have two sh two different shots. Uh, one is a little bit darker, one is a bit brighter. Although I have I haven't preserved the highlights too good here, as you can see. But what I'm gonna do, I will try to merge it, so see if it will work. So uh, normally, if you shoot it on a tripod, you have it in the same position; it will not be a problem when you merge them all together. But in this case. Uh, I think I should handheld, so yeah, I'm gonna try to see if it will work. So what I'm gonna do is I will go to, I will select both of the images and I'll go to the photo merge. And what I will do is I will choose HDR to see if it will merge and if it will give me a better uh, exposure. Yeah, so always shoot a little bit darker than uh, too bright, you know, so you have some details in the highlights, it's very important. So as you can see here, what it did, it actually just brighten up the shadows and make these images a little bit brighter, but I still have no, not that much uh, highlights. But anyway, I'm gonna choose it, I'm gonna merge it down So guys, you know, this video to be a little bit longer, but you asked for it. So now you have to be patient and uh, watch this until the end. And if you're new to this channel, consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. I do uh, editing videos, I do interiors, I do uh, photo shoots, um, editorial photo shoots, weddings, and I do also business um, videos for, for photographers that wants to improve their their uh, business skills and also financial financial uh, tips for you guys so you can uh, better yourself at money okay so i merged this down it looks like this why they keep okay i have two of these shots so i'm gonna on pick that one Okay, so what it did, let's see right here. Okay, 
not too much, but it's it's okay. It looks good. I'm gonna choose again to straighten up and keep going. Okay, I have also verticals, so always pick also verticals. As you can see here, I have a lot uh, more uh, highlights on the window, so it's much nicer. I'm gonna keep this one, let's see if I can straighten up a little bit. Okay, I cannot, so what I'm gonna do, I will use manual kind of straighten, like uh, the vertical, or the other way. Okay, and I will keep it like this, you know, it, the marble is nice. So let's see if I can crop also this part here because maybe it's too much of, and also that part, so I'm gonna show only the bat tub and also make sure that I have everything in. So here we go, it's a much cleaner image. Next one, okay, so here's another shot, a, a wider shot, a little bit lower. So always make sure you get low, you know, because you're gonna get better composition when you get lower. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm gonna do this manual a little bit because it is just not gonna work sometimes, so. Verticals are looking better. Keep moving. Okay, this one I'm gonna also straighten up. Okay, that's a problem he right here. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the guidelines and go go to the verticals here. I have two verticals right here and one right here. And see if it do it will do the trick. So it's already much much better. Let's see. And uh, maybe I'm gonna need to rotate it a little bit. Now you have the grid lines right here. You can see, make sure they are all parallel to one another. So you can straighten as much as you can and then just hit okay. I mean, it could be better. So I'm gonna go this way a little bit. It's not 100% perfect, but it's good. So on this shot, I will straighten up. The focus is right on the cabinet, so it's fine. Next, okay, here is a, a trick that sometimes it's a problem. I mean, there is a problem with the uh, color fringing. If you don't know what is that, is actually the, when you shoot, you know, backlight images, sometimes your, your uh, lens will have a purple kind of aberration right there. What I'm gonna do is I will remove it right away manually. I'm gonna hit lens correction right here on the manual and I'm gonna pick this thing here, the picker, and I go it on the, right here on this ugly motherfucker color. And I'm gonna take it out as much as I can. So as you can see, it's, it's gone. All right, it's better. I'm gonna hit done, and here we go. It's it's much cleaner right now. All right. Um, it not it will not always gonna take everything, but it's much better than before. So let's see if I can also straighten up a little bit. Now I'm gonna try to make it straighten manually because yeah doesn't look good so I have two horizontal lines here and I have a vertical line right here I mean this vertical line see if it will take it all right almost there yeah it's good keep going okay I have another shot right here so uh, yeah okay gonna make this one also try to Try to take the aberration out. Let's go. Boom. 
All right, here we go. Okay, we still have some more. So, oh, they're gone, almost gone. Let's see, got here one. Okay, well, okay, and well, what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna crop it right here from the top. So I'll make sure I'm gonna lose that part because it's just annoying and it's not too straight. So yeah, I am actually want to focus more on the details, you know, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, here's uh, another details, uh, but I think, let me see, if I zoom it to 50%, okay, it's good. So let's see if I can straighten up this one. Okay, it's good, next one. Oop. Okay, let's see this one. What I'm gonna do is I will try to use a vertical. Oop, uh, sorry, horizontal. Or you, I can also use this guided. This will take some time, guys, you know, but once you, once you make this straighten, it will be good. So here we go. Here we have details. One thing that I noticed on this shot right here, uh, the, the colors of the tiles are a little bit, I don't know, weird. So I'm going to tone them down. Um, I go to the next, I will try to straighten up. I'm going to the next, okay. And I will keep coming back to see if they are, it's matching with the other color. Okay, it's it's pretty okay. All right, next. All right, this one, it's also should pretty close up. Although the focus is right here and yeah, here you have, no focus, that because I was shooting at a 2.8, so especially when you shoot round stuff, if you're not focusing in the middle right here, well, you're gonna have uh, the f f a focus issue, so yeah, well, I'm gonna keep it for now, it's fine. I'm gonna sharpen up a little bit and it's good to go. Now, details are always nice, guys, so make sure you got a lot of, lot of details. Here we go. This one, let's straighten up this one. I'm gonna turn it a little bit down. Sometimes what I do, if I have two, the same shots, I'm gonna hit Shift, Option, Command, and M. That means from uh, matching the total exposure. Uh, I do sometimes two multiple shots like this, so I can have kind of the same exposure uh, for the whole images. Sometimes I need to tone it down manually. So yeah, it's, uh, you have to go check it before you go on. All right, so I have this one right here and I have this one. I'm gonna keep them both. Yeah, straighten up right there. Let's see if this one is straightened. Okay, it's sometimes it's not working. Why? Because there's too many um, lines, different angles, so it will not know what to do. So sometimes it's just leave it like that. Going to the next one. Okay, I have this one. I'm gonna tone it a little bit. Oops, I'm gonna tone it a little bit down. Exposure. So make sure when you want to tone down the exposure, I hit the exposure and I use the plus and minus on my keyboard to tone it down. Okay, next one. Okay, let's see if I need to straighten up this one. Okay, it will not work like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'll try it manually just a tiny bit. All right, let's go, let's keep going. 
Okay, guys, we're not even hit the middle of this editing shoot, and it's a lot. So I hope you're gonna resist until the end. If you enjoy it, please like this video and hit subscribe because there's a lot of things going on right here. So this is good. Let's keep going. Okay, right now I am in the kitchen area. All right, so what I'm going to do again, I will look right here on the white balance. Okay, so make sure I select all of the kitchen area. Oh, that's a lot. Man, I shoot a lot. Okay, so where is the end? Right here, I think. Yeah, right here. So what I'm going to do, I will hit auto again see what will do it will warm up a little bit the shots sometimes I also gonna use um, some some uh, shadow coloring you know if I feel like this the uh, the shadows are blue or um, the images are too blue, so I give it a little bit of warmth, but not too much. It needs to look natural. That's the whole key. All right, keep going. So as you can see, I I already set up the Y balance. Now I'm gonna hit again, straighten. Okay, that's good. Next one, I'm gonna hit also straight to this one. When I have multiple shots like this, what I do sometimes, I just select them all, hit shift, select them all, and hit the auto right here, and it will, um, it will straighten all of these three images. Of course, if I, if I have to select here the sync button. So if you want to um, affect the whole images that you selected, you need to have this auto sync in. So once you do the auto, yeah, it should take all of that. Let's see if it's, okay, so you, as you can see, it's now auto. Sometimes it will not work, but you have to just try and see. Uh, on this one, I'm gonna do it just for this shot, straighten up. Okay, here I have multiple, again, I have multiple verticals and I also gonna, hit the auto, see if it will straighten up. Okay, so it's good enough. Remember, there is there is no need to be all just perfect, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. Just keep going, you know. Make it as, as good as you can, and if you cannot do it in Lightroom right away, you can uh, sh uh, use Photoshop, or the editor will use Photoshop to do the last details. Okay, guys, so as you can see on this image, it's, I haven't shot it straight. It's like, it's like, I haven't looked on my, on my grid line, uh, on my screen when I shoot this, and it looks, it looks awful. So I'm going to try to do it manual, uh, automatic, and if it doesn't work, let's see. Uh, I will try horizontal also a little bit. Okay, so it will. What it will do now? It will, as you can see, I I need to to have the vertical straight and also the horizontals. So sometimes it will bite a little bit into the object, which is not a bad thing. I mean, the composition it's still okay. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Next. Okay, let's see. I have to straighten this up. Boom! Right there. There you go, okay. Here I see a thing right here, which is bothering me. I'm gonna select the, this healing tool. I'm gonna select that. Great, let's go to the next one. All right, this is good. That's okay. Although the focus right here, it's, 
it's not w- what I would expect to be. So I'm going to unpick that one. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to lower up the exposure. And I'm going to the next one. Straighten up this one. Good to go. This one also. Let's straighten up this one. So sometimes, even with the 50 millimeter, you'll have distortion. But it is what it is. I mean, if you can shoot with the 85 or what with 100 millimeter, it's even better. But for me, 50 is like uh, run and gun. You know, it's it's super fast for me. So I'm gonna shoot with a 50 as long as I as I am you know doing as best as, as I can and fast but if I have enough time to play around I will shoot with the 100 millimeter um, change the lens use the 85 but uh, yeah 50 is my lens of choice when it comes to details verticals and uh, yeah horizontals but yeah, if you have the chance, always choose longer lenses. All right, here we go. Next one. Straighten up. Different uh, position, different composition. Again, straighten up. Going to the next one. We already have some details on that one. Straighten up this one. Straighten up this one. Okay, so as you can see, this is not the the best. I'm gonna aspect ratio a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna rotate a little bit here and just keep going detail right here straighten up this one straighten up this one details 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 make sure you have a lot of uh, close-up for the textures of the items it's very important That one also, I'm gonna tone this a little bit more down. Always make sure you also get the patterns of the tables. So the customers, uh, whatever see the images on the magazine, they see how the table look from the wider perspective and also close up details for the wood texture. Straighten up that one, good to go. Straighten this one. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna unpick this one. Oh, let's see if I can straighten up a little bit. No, so because it will not work, I will just unpick it. It's fine, I have a lot of details of that already. Straighten that one. Straighten this one. Okay, now this is a kind of a skew image, so yeah, of course you can see if I can do it on the horizontal. Yes, so sometimes when it's like skew like this, distorted, you can use the horizontal, yeah, the horizontal uh, slider to just straighten up a little bit more. Okay, and of course use the constraint and maybe use also a little bit uh, straighten up and good to go. Next. Okay, keep it this one. Let's go to the next one. Again, straighten up. Okay, I have multiple here uh, vertical, so I'm gonna hit all the same again. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, guys. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do subscribe and hit the bell notification or the like button and comment down below let me know what you think um, if you like how I uh, edit this video for you if you got some inspiration I would really really appreciate uh, your uh, your support Okay, this one I'm gonna straighten up. Keep going. Let's see this one if I can straighten up. So sometimes it's good to have, yeah, both composition vertical and horizontal, so you can actually tell different kind of uh, story. Okay, I have this one. I told you reflection. It's a bad thing, but in this case it may work. So I'm gonna keep it. Again, straighten this. Here is another different uh, composition. And as you can see here on the left side, it's kind of a bright. It's too bright to the exposure. It's, it's too harsh. Okay, so I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to the next one. All right, straighten up. Turn it down a little bit, exposure. Let's see, maybe I may have to just a little bit brighter. It's good, so. Okay, this one, straighten up. Good. Let's go to the next one, straighten up. So uh, I already have multiple shots of this uh, kitchen island, but you know, in the end, I'm gonna choose which I think it will be the best, or the editor will do that. Um, here on this shot, I want to, to show more of the bar chairs. So what I'm gonna do, I will see sometimes this corner here, it's a little bit distracting. So I'm gonna just crop right here and make a cleaner composition also maybe here also. So I'm gonna focus more actually on the middle chair right there. Let's see if I can just just turn it a little bit because it's too much tilt. I mean, I do tilt Dutch uh, angles, but uh, sometimes it's too much. So just make it play a little bit around with it and see what's the best angle for you. Next, here we have a vase. Also details, keep it like so. See this one, this is a, um, a straight version. And then when I shoot tilt uh, Dutch angle, it's for, you know, for detail and to make this shot look more dynamic. You know, when you shoot tilt Dutch angles, it gives a dynamic look to the image. So sometimes I like to shoot like that, that because it's not too straight and boring. Next, we have some leaves here, which can add to uh, to the story on the magazine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crop this a little bit for a better composition. Don't be afraid to crop, especially if you have a camera with a high megapixel, you know, it will, uh, it will be okay if you crop it a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, I shoot, you know, ISO 400. Uh, sometimes I shoot ISO 3200, depends, uh, depends on the light. So don't be afraid to push your ISO um, and shoot like 2.5 or 2.8, 1.6, but um, make sure that you have some sharpness in the images. Again, on this shot right here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this a little bit. So keep going. I have here this shot. Straighten up. Uh, as you can see here, I have some, you know, the electric, uh, um, how do you call this, uh, sockets. 
uh, and L, it's not always the best case. You can actually remove this in Photoshop, you know, take this pattern out and clean, make it a clean shot. But I'm not gonna bother on this shot. Uh, it's it's bad because this is super close. So make sure that you have at least some space between uh, this uh, socket, electric socket, and uh, and the object. So at least there's some space there to separate. They're not bumping in one to another. So next, I'm gonna turn this out. Here's an example, guys. Make sure that sometimes you shoot side light. Side light, it's best and also uh, backlight. Side light and backlight and avoid as much as you can front light because the front light will look super flat and it's not flattering at all. Um, okay, next one. Here we have some details of the table of the uh, island kitchen island i think this is yeah here we have the curtains make sure you have details for the curtains make sure they are straight uh, when you shoot like this and you see outside make sure there's no cars no colors not red colors outside make sure there is neutral or green or something neutral that looks uh, clean. Here we have uh, these wood details in the kitchen straighten up. Also this one, I'm gonna turn it down and also the other one. So what I'm gonna do, I will pick them both, hit the shift all uh, option and M from total match exposure. Okay. Okay, so here we have another shot of the this vase that I already did it. So now if I hit the auto, it looks a bit better. Or two, you see the vertical is not perfect. So I think what I'm gonna do, I will just uh, use the vertical uh, tool for the vertical lines a little bit to straighten up and constrain the crop and that's it i'll keep it like so oh and i can also do a cropping right here and here we go <clears throat> okay i have some details always make sure you got details also of the carpets or you know of the skin cow <laughs> you know just make sure you got details um of everything, the floor, sometimes even the tiles, if I need it. I mean, if it's an interior, for interior magazine, interior, um, interior shop that sells also tiles and uh, uh, carpets and stuff, make sure you got also that details. I'll turn that down. Okay, this one right here, sometimes it's nice to shoot also through. Uh, this is the, you know, uh, candle kind of a candle light, candle light support, something like that. Okay, so make sure it's straight and if you can shoot through the, through it to see the, you know, to create some depth and layers, it's nice. So as you can see here, I need to use also manual to straighten up the verticals more, although I shoot with the 50, but yeah. On the smaller objects, it will look distorted anyway if you shoot with the 50. So this will uh, be shot better maybe with 100 millimeter or, or with the 85. But yeah, sometimes I'm a bit lazy, so I'm not able to uh, change right away the lens, you know. So I'm gonna shoot what I have. Okay, let's keep going. Boom, let's hit this straight. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. Again, another horizontal. Yep, and we are done with the kitchen, guys. I'm going now into the living room. So let's see where 
are all the living room images they are right here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select them all again and I will just unselect this auto sync and I will choose right here the auto for the uh, auto Y balance you see there's a dramatic shift right there uh, it's I think it's more organic than you know try to figure out which the right color or you can also shoot like you, you pick the the black area or a gray area or even whiter as you can see here in the in the preview if I put my my picker on the blacks you see you have more kind of a white but I mean there's no mood right there also and you get greener here you get a little bit more green here you get blue so make sure you hit the the picker if you want more accurate like white white and black black and you know very uh, sterile kind of images then you're gonna uh, use the picker so sometimes the auto will not work so you're gonna have to do it manually so sometimes I use uh, this tool okay I'm gonna hit done and let's keep going all right I'm gonna hit auto boom straighten up here I have this thing here I think it's a little bit annoying so what I'm gonna do I'll try to crop it right above it so I'm gonna lose it right away uh, make sure it's the composition it's good maybe tone just a tiny bit down okay here we got okay so as you can see there's a big shift right there in the colors uh, using the auto so what I'm gonna do I will uh, try to put you know the daylight kind of situation so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit the daylight okay and it looks awful I'm gonna go back so because I already have here set this up the tint and so I will just put a 500 five, 5,500 right there and from now I'm gonna copy all this setting and I will just try to okay let me put just 5,600 a little bit more warmer all right there you go and I will see if it will match all this but I think it will not especially on the other side of the lunch area so well, we, I will see synchronize that and let's keep going guys okay now it's getting better I'm gonna hit auto right there for the straighten up uh, all right let's see what do we have here as you can see it's yeah sometimes it's not working so if it's not working try it manual vertical right here vertical right here and here we got an horizontal line also let's see if this will do the trick almost now in Lightroom you cannot use more than three uh, of this uh, three or four so I think this is the most you can do on a manual guided you see now it's straight I'm gonna hit done going to the next one okay this is working so I'm gonna tone down this one okay so here's an example guys when you shoot like you have the light right in the back like the position where I'm shooting there is a window so when you shoot like this uh, is not always flattering I mean especially the the, the front part of um, the, the closest part from the camera because this part is hitting actually the uh, the light is hitting this couch and it makes it like 
the, the, it's blown out, you know? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose a linear grad gradient right here. Okay, this is annoying. Uh, oh no, thank you, bye. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this linear right here. I'm gonna tone down the exposure. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is actually creating a mask and I will just pull this like that and make sure that I recover some um, exposure right there. And I can go with this right here somewhere okay so let me show you again yeah before and after okay so it's very important to have a balanced uh, kind of exposure all right i have this shot right here what i'm gonna do is again i will straighten up lower the exposure a little bit this one right here i have here three horizontals so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select them all and then hit the auto see if it will straighten up all wait i forgot to do one thing so when you select them all and you want to straighten uh, all of them make sure again you select this right here so you can have auto sync okay so let's see now if it's working i'm gonna deselect and i'm gonna check if this is straight okay it didn't take it all right uh, i'm gonna select again make sure i have this on and hit that all right so I hope now it's working let's see okay now it's working all right so again I will decrease the exposure a little bit and maybe also match it with all these three again select them all hold shift option command on your Mac and M to match total exposure and you can see here already that has been uh, matched the exposure okay Sometimes it will be a little bit hot, and if it's too harsh, always use in the highlights uh, minus, let's say 60. And keep going. Let's see, this one right here. So actually, this one, it's not so straight. So what I'm gonna do again, I'm going here on the vertical, I'm trying to straighten up as much as I can. Although the door is not absolutely, I would say, perfect. I mean, it looks a little bit awkward. Um, see vertical? Yeah, so I'm gonna use vertical and, and also horizontal again. A little bit more. Now, may, this may look a little bit better. I will straighten also here, crop, and contain this composition. And it's already better. Not perfect, but better. You can still gonna do this in Photoshop if you want to straighten more, you know, these angles. But so far, it is okay i'm gonna lower up a little bit the exposure and keep going this one okay i will unselect this one because i know i have kind of better composition especially with the 50 millimeter this has been shot with a 24 and you can see already it is pretty distorted and i don't like it so i'm gonna remove it i'm gonna remove this also uh, this one I'm gonna hold auto again. Okay, so straighten. So this composition, what I like of this composition is because it's it's framing this living area, so it can show 
uh, you a little bit more of the house. It's, it's not always the case to, I mean, if you shoot super wide with the 60 millimeter, which I don't shoot, you know, and you can have everything in the frame, but it, it, it will look very ugly. So, um, yeah, what I'm gonna do now, it's uh, we'll crop here right above the chairs, although, you know, and maybe just move it a little bit to the right and keep it cleaner. And lower the exposure again. Yeah, a little bit and keep going. Have this one again, straighten up, see if it's working. Good, next. Okay, this one, wait, I might do another crop right here just to make it more cleaner. Okay, and yeah, this one I will try to straighten up. Now with people, it's sometimes uh, pretty awkward uh, if you don't, I mean, depends on the lens again, this is shot with the 50 millimeter, but um, sometimes if you hit the upper right, uh, yeah, it will distort uh, the person, <laughs> especially if you shoot portraits and stuff. So make sure um, you don't distort that. Next one, I'm gonna lower again this, uh, and I think I'm gonna, un check this one that because it's very weird right here how this part of the body looks looks too wide so i'm gonna uncheck i'm gonna leave only the details so between this one oh wait okay between this one and this one i'm gonna keep I think the uh, second one. All right, and I'm gonna lower the exposure a little bit just to make it a bit moody. Maybe also I could crop it right here. That because I can, yeah, as much cleaner as I can, you know. Uh, okay, that's a, a bit of a problem here because I cut it right on the wrist, never cut on the wrist, but what I can do, maybe I can go even lower like this, so then I cut uh, over the wrist right there. Yeah, let's keep it like this, all right. Lower a little bit the exposure and it's just, okay. Next, have this one again, upright. Um, just crop it a little bit tighter. Don't be afraid to crop a little bit tighter to make sure you have a cleaner composition if you have stuff in your way. Although having a foreground, it's uh, sometimes nice because you give some dimension to your shots. Okay, this one, yeah. I will hit again straight, up straight. Um, this is distorted because that's how this candle holder uh, yeah, jar it's, it is, you know, it's distorted. So I'm going to keep it like that. Um, okay, so here I, I have more close-up uh, shot of this, this support. So I try to do the auto, but it will not work. So what I'm going to do, I will do manually. So I'm going to do like this vertically and then let's see horizontal no horizontal not but ro just rotate like that and hit that crop constraint and we are good to go um, uh, let me check again the exposure so I'm gonna select again those two I hit again shift option command match total exposures and it's good maybe I can turn this even more hit the auto if you have like this you know 
uh, kind of straighter lines and it will work much better the this upright tool okay this one it's shot like this because I want to avoid you know the, there was some uh, uh, stuff outside that were very destructive uh, stuff like kind of orange uh, machines uh, grassing uh, cutting machines so I have to do a higher position for this so I will do it like this I'll try to do it manually constrain of course straighten up a little bit more if it's possible so I'm gonna cut a little bit there but it's no problem all right so should be fine all right maybe straighten a little bit more good next this one here's another example composition when you can just cut a part of the uh, couch you know again make sure you have the exposure okay and then hit again auto see if this will straighten up before and after okay I'm gonna do this a little bit maybe the vertical see that see that all right like that and then hold crop again it's great all right keep going or maybe I have to rotate just a tiny bit all right here we go let's go I do sometimes this tilt dutch uh, especially for the pillows if there are a lot of pillows just to see different uh, textures and colors Okay, this one, let's see if I can straighten up. This is a much closer version of the that shot. Okay, this is a super exposed, so I'm gonna lower the exposure right here. Try to straighten up, see if it will get a better. No, if it doesn't work, no problem, then I'm gonna use the cropping straight tool. And here we go. this one straighten up it's not working so if it's not working I'm gonna do it manually now don't be too critical okay I mean I mean it can be better let's see if I can do it by guides so you have to explore all these tools because it's not always uh, one settings fits all, you know. So you make sh make sure that you uh, use all these tools to straighten up. I think this is a bit better. Let me see. You have to hit right on the line right there because sometimes it's not doing it right so I think now it's good although this thing here it's not straight but yeah this is how it is so if you want you can maybe yeah straighten in Photoshop but I don't even bother just leave it like so it's an imperfect <laughs> styling anyway okay here we have a pillow here Okay, I might straighten this up a little bit more and get rid of this lower part here. So it's less distraction right there and lower the exposures. Next, here we have another details right here. I'm gonna straighten up a little bit and that's it. Maybe, maybe, maybe I have to just put another exposure Again, here, I'm gonna leave this like this, just maybe straighten a little bit with the crop tool and keep moving. Okay, we have here a wider shot. Now, this shot is 
shot at 2.5, which sometimes it's not a good thing. You know why? Because this is a wide shot, and normally, if you want to have, uh, if you do a wide shot, you're gonna have to shoot at least f8 or something like that, higher f stops, because you're gonna need to see more in focus. But I took the risk and shoot this at a 2.5. Now, if you see, you look, the focus is right here on the living room, and the other side just gives you a little bit more insight to what's the, uh, you know, the rest of uh, the, the living room, you know, continue with the dining room. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to crop it a little bit more here and leave it so. So here's a problem with the color cast, as you can see here on a wall, on a ceiling and on a table. What I'm doing sometimes, I'm going to the HLL color here, right here. I pick this uh, tool right here and I go right on the spot here and I will try to, uh, okay, that's a hue color. Sorry, I have to pick the saturation, okay? Make sure you pick the saturation and you're gonna have, to, you're gonna lower the saturation right away. The orange right there, see that? It's gone. So that's how you're gonna solve this fast, you know. Of course, you can do much faster, um, uh, much accurate in Photoshop and stuff like that. But um, in, in Lightroom, it's better to just use this tool right here. Okay, I have to just lower the exposure on the, on that one. But since you know. You see here, it's a big difference of light right here. Of course, you can use also flashlight and, you know, uh, do multiple exposures, which I didn't do, you know, because I wanted to be in time and, and shoot this fast. I think it took me around uh, an hour to shoot the whole, uh, the whole house. No, an hour and a half, you know. So what I'm going to do here, again, I'm going to use the line linear grading mask. I'm going to pull this right here from the right. I'm going to tone it down right there. Okay, and now I'm going to bump up the exposure for the overall, overall uh, image. And it's still going to be, you know, brighter on the left so i'm gonna check again this mask make sure i select it and decrease more the exposure okay and maybe overall again a little bit more exposed so now it's getting better okay next one let's see now i got into the frame as you can see um, a little bit more of the table from the dining room so it gives a little bit more of context and perspective you know that the, this living room is the uh, uh, is the continuation of of uh, this living room the, the 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 kitchen the dining area is the continuation so i'm gonna just lower the exposure Make sure I have this straightened up. Maybe I have to lower up again the highlights and maybe the whites sometimes because the whites are also blown out. And uh, yeah, should be fine from now. I'm gonna tone out, gonna increase a little bit the exposure right there. And I'll keep moving, okay? This one, let's see if I upright it good it's great tone a little bit down moving to the next one again as you can see i have some blown out uh, highlights right there but uh, yeah it's fine so let's see i'm gonna use this manual because the, the verticals are like crazy okay put us so Maybe just turn a little bit back and I will turn the 
exposure down a little bit. Okay, next. Okay, um, this one. This is a vertical, so yeah, you make, I can keep also this one. Maybe they will use it in the magazine for verticals. And here we have a details. I told you that this reflection here, it's not so nice. So what I'm doing, you see also my shoes right on there. Um, I'm going to crop it like that. So just to make a detailed shot, you know, if you merge it together with all this shot in a magazine, it will uh, just give the vibe of the, um, the house. So this next one is shorter from above. Again, straighten up. Let's see how it's going up. All right. OK. Not perfect, but this can be also straightened more in Photoshop. So I'm not going to bother right now. I'm going to tone it down. I'm moving to the next one. Again, let's see if this will work. OK, it's working. Now it's good to also have verticals if you shoot like kind of a flat lay. Although it's not totally flat, you can see I cannot hang out from the ceiling uh, to shoot flat, you know, so, yeah. Here it is, another shot, let's see this one. Again, turn down the exposure. Okay, this one, I don't think I will keep this one so because it's just crazy, crazy lines. So I'm gonna unpick this one, remove it, keep this one, lower the composition, try to see if it will work to straighten up a little bit. Oh, that's a <laughs> awkward cut, although, yeah, no, it will not work. So. What I'm going to do, I will keep it out how it is, lower, lower the composition, maybe straighten a little bit the verticals right there, crop it, lower the exposure and keep moving. There is a piece of wood right here, which is super uh, nasty, but this can be actually removed in Photoshop, you know. A little bit harder here, but uh, I mean, it can be done. If you want to go like super, super details, I mean, there will always be stuff to do, you know. So if you're super, super picky with your editing, uh, good luck to you. I'm not that picky. I don't like to waste too much time on editing. I mean, if you cannot get as best as you can in your camera, uh, um, yeah, editing, it's actually a lot of waste of time. Especially if you have to do it yourself. You don't, if you don't have a, an editor to do it, that's crazy. On this one, I will use also vertic horizontal. Okay, that's... Rotate a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like so. Looks okay, I think so. Mm. All right, just keep moving. Sometimes the angles will not work. If you don't have a tilt and shift kind of lens, like a 24 millimeter or a 45 millimeter tilt and shift lens, which I don't use it right now. I mean, I don't have it, but maybe in the future I might, I might get one, a 24 a tilt and shift that because for this kind of angles, it's super annoying, you know, 
and for kind of like this is more of a architectural uh, kind of shot so maybe it will work much better with the tilted shift you know i never tried one but i see a lot of uh, architecture photographers use this kind of lenses so yeah i might give it a try next here we have another shot okay so where is this okay the focus is right here so it's fine okay this will not work like this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it manually increase a little bit the exposure and keep going now here we have the exposure is too high on this make sure it's not too bright oh okay and, and maybe straighten up okay that's good oh and i have right here something i don't know what is that thing right there but if i can get rid of it right away you know what almost yeah all right that's it done okay this one i might straighten up a little bit this one this one also straighten manually this one see if i can use this transform tool yeah it's not gonna work so i'm gonna leave it so this table it's not straight uh you know by default okay next one <laughs> this is a creepy thing but it's it's beautiful at the same time <laughs> creepy and beautiful at the same time i mean it's very well done straighten a little bit more oh okay that's i think it's a bit too much yeah it's fine it's fine you know the thing is that the head uh sometimes is too close to the other side which normally you should leave some more space here but i think it is okay am i lower from this part and then put it higher so now it's fine okay have this one here i'm gonna try to straighten up now all these shots right here it's in the dining area so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select them all um i have few more here i think and here and here and i love that one uh my here 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 mm. here and i'm gonna take this saturation tool right here the hitch sl color you know to tone down this yellow part right here you know because sometimes too much yellow and make sure again it you have this selected for the auto sync you know so you can have all uh synced and i think it's should it should be good now all right uh yeah let's straighten up this one oh it's straightened mm, but it doesn't look too good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this vertical manually again crop here uh, maybe cut it so let's move on straighten this one lower the exposure again lower the exposure yeah here i told you again make sure you remove the tags when you <laughs> when you start shooting 
after the stylist uh, m made the uh, you know the arrangement the the styling make sure you have all the price tags removed so you don't see it in the photos because it's sometimes a pain to remove them uh, in photoshop so that actually can be removed in photoshop okay on this one again i'm gonna straighten up uh, now yeah this is a problem here but unless you you were there to know what's that uh, maybe it's not that big of a deal but yeah it depends on the editor in the end the chief editor if they want to put it in the magazine or not so it, you just have to do your best you know and then uh, they will select what's what they like this one I will straighten up so maybe I will increase also the exposure a little bit to the other one okay next again straighten up tone it down a little bit tone it down a little bit and now straighten make sure you got also the entire uh, uh, library uh, cast or how do you call this shelf now on this shot it's actually pretty busy you know I mean look at this it's super busy maybe sometimes less is more you know so maybe it was better for the styling to, uh, to the stylist to remove this uh, stuff from the table and just leave the table and uh, uh, and the and the back drop the background you know maybe it was much cleaner like so lower this on exposure see if it's straighten up okay um again lower the exposure for the left side and also add a gradient tool for this part here right here maybe like so and maybe increase the exposure and of course now I'm gonna go right here straighten up as much as I can All right uh, maybe rotate a little bit okay that's the best I can get maybe lower just a little bit although you can see right here the lines are not super straight but yeah 24 millimeter guys next So yeah, I, w I will see, maybe in the future I'll try to avoid as much as I can the 24. I added to my kit, you know, I wanted, I wanted sometimes a little bit in my frame, but once I see the photos, you know, and it's getting harder to edit them, uh, yeah, I might think twice next time and shoot only with the 35 and 50. I mean, with the 35, you can do also details, you know. Okay, we have a few more guys, just hold on. Lower this one, keep going. Lower the exposure on this one. Okay, so as you can see, here it is pretty pretty distorted so I'm gonna try to get here a balanced rotate a little bit the other side yeah I'm gonna keep it like this constrain this and maybe use the scrub tool to get rid of the contact of the socket electric sockets right here 
maybe lower a little bit the exposure just to see the details on the shelf. Okay, and yeah, keep moving. Here I have the entire the entire bookshelf or yeah, I don't know how you call this. Lower exposure, straighten up, keep moving. This one shot focus more on the on the chairs on the texture actually. Okay, lower this one. I have a lot of shots of this details, but yeah, we'll see in the end. Okay, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna use the vertical more and then constrain and maybe rotate a little bit and that's it. Okay, we have this one, another close up detail, straighten up detail of these two <laughs> two heads. And uh, okay, let's see if I can straighten up this one. Okay, it's working, great. Lower exposure, lower this exposure for this horsey. And straighten up. And of course I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna cut here, right here, again. That's a cool statue. Maybe lower a little bit more exposure. Let's go to the next thing. This is a cool kind of golden tone. Kind of coral, I think this. Or a flower, maybe. Okay, next face. Straighten up, come on. Straighten up. Oh, yeah, we have another horsey right here. Lower the exposure. Um, let's see if I can straighten up. Okay. So, as you can see here, guys, um, I have a little bit of noise, especially when you shoot in, in, uh, on, on the blacks, uh, on the shadows, I mean. Uh, you, if you have the, if the shadows are bumped up, because I did the auto-tune, you'll have uh, some noise and especially when you shoot high ISO. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I will select all images and I will just lower the um, uh, I will lower the noise on the detail right here, I'm gonna go to the 10 and maybe go to the 50. And this will apply to all the images and they will make them much smoother. And of course I can bump up my uh, sharpening to 45 and maybe the uh, masking, sh uh, holding uh, Alt or Option on your Mac, you will see where is the focus. And here we go. I'm gonna apply this S curve, lower the the shadows, uh, the, the the blacks, the shadows. I mean, and create just a tiny bit of highlights over, like so. Now, oops, what just happened? All right, I I uh, yeah. I crushed the blacks. So, okay. I have it right now. Oh, let's see. Bef before. So I have before and after. See that? Boom. It gives a little bit of more defined micro contrast. 
Um, again, what I'm gonna do to all images after I apply this S curve, I will tone down the vibrance and saturation because when I hit auto tone, yeah, it's just uh, it put too much. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna copy uh, the curves. Make sure I select all the images, unselect auto sync, sync again, and then synchronize for all images to apply this small S curve. I mean, you can go super crazy with this S curve, but I tend to keep it at minimum uh, for the beginning. And now I can just scroll a little bit towards all the images on the library mode yeah and see how this turned out as you can see this turned out pretty well uh, this color i am not pretty sure about this one so let me check out i have too much all right I think now it's better. Too much red. Okay. Now, of course, it can be even done even better. So I might have to turn this a little bit down. Now, you on this grid, you can see the overall. You know, uh, see the exposure if it's uh, well exposed or you need to tone down the exposure, um, or you have to increase the exposure, you know, this will help you to see the overall edit. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit too much of a color. I mean, I like bright and strong colors, but when it's way too much, what I'm gonna do is I make sure that I select all. I have again the auto synced in, so I can affect the whole, whole images. The colors are consistent. I mean, like there's not too much contrast and color on uh, one image and the other one, it's uh, just not the same. So I'm gonna tone down the vibrancy, put it to zero, again with saturation to zero, to all. All right. And now everything looks much, much cleaner, as you can see. scroll to the whole editing part make sure that the exposure is right see this one maybe needs a little bit more exposure so what i'm doing is i'm going to the quick develop and i press one stop overexpose one one third of a stop okay looks good so far clean, deep blacks and color. Let's see if this, uh, it's, yeah, well, that's the color. Sometimes you can also do something like just minus 2% saturation for all. So it will make more organic kind of color looking. Uh, that because when you apply the S curve, especially the blacks, yeah, it will turn out to be too black and too dirty, you know, and I don't like that. I like cleaner images to see details also in the shadows. So, yeah, so far, so good. Here we go. We have that, we have that. 
this is a little bit too much yellow where was it it was it was too much of a yellow so I'm gonna tone it down a little bit okay okay and of course there was the last one that I think maybe I will increase a little bit the exposure back and just maybe tone down this white Okay.
So guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this editing video. And if you did, please subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the editing. Uh, and if you want to see more of this kind of uh, content. And I will see you in the next one.